26 July 1999 is the day the nation witnessed some of the most daring acts of bravery by the valiant soldiers of the Indian Army. We celebrate the Kagal Vijay Divas on the 26th of July every year to commemorate the success of Operation Vijay, the operation launched by the Indian Army to clear the Kagal sector. On this day, when the nation is remembering the valiant victory of our brave Indian soldiers, we, the Oxfordians, are equally blessed and honored to have an eminent personality in our midst. With great pride and delight, I would like to introduce respected Major Dr. Sandeep Lal V, MBBS, who had served in the Indian Army for many commendable years. He completed his MBBS from the prestigious Armed Forces Medical College at Pune in the year 2008 and joined the Army Medical Corps as a Lieutenant. He completed his internship at Army Hospital Research and Referral, New Delhi. As a captain, he served in treacherous terrains of Jammu and Kashmir with the counter-terrorist wing of Army, the Rashtriya Rifles, for a period of three years. He then served as part of Field Hospital at Hyderabad, where during an exercise at Pokhran, he was awarded the GOC in C Commentation card. As a major, he was part of the Allied National Security Guard at Hyderabad from where he completed his tenure with the Indian Army. After his tenure, he completed his MD in Dermatology and DNB in Dermatology from Command Hospital Air Force, Bangalore. Presently, he is serving as a dermatologist at Government Victoria Hospital, Kulam. Now let's feel honored to listen to his address. Good morning children. Today is Kagal Vijay Devas, which commemorates the successful Operation Vijay in which Indian Army regained control and command over Siachen Glacier and other outposts by defeating the infiltrators and Pakistani Army. On 26 July, every year, we honor the valor of brave soldiers who made the supreme sacrifice in protecting the motherland during Op Vijay. The distinguished history of Indian Army dates back to more than 10,000 years. The two grand epics of Ramayana and Mahabharata constitute the fundamental framework around which the edifice of Indian Army is built. Indian Army is mandated to safeguard national interest from external aggression and internal subversions. Our army not only fights wars to meet external aggressions, but also manages internal security. It also has a humanitarian disaster relief front and also aids authorities, the civil authorities in times of crisis and natural calamities, as was seen by all of us during the massive floods the previous year. Our army has, a, has to face a spectrum of threats ranging from nuclear to the conventional with terrorism emerging as a hydra-headed monster. Added to this is the rigor of climate, that's glacial heights and extreme cold conditions, dense mountains, jungles and the extreme heat. The spirit and tradition of a soldier is the uh, driving force which forms the backbone of Indian Army, the spirit of comradeship and brotherhood of the brave, regardless of caste, creed or religion. The motto is one for all and all for one. The tradition is never to question, but to do or die for the three ends, that is Nam, Namak or Nishan. Nam is the name, the honor of the unit, army, nation. Namak, or which literally means sold, is the loyalty to the nation and Nishan is the insignia or flag of the unit, regiment, army or the nation which the soldier holds a floor willingly. Fearlessness in compact and in face of the enemy, even when fighting against great odds or even when facing sure death, fairness, honesty, 
courage, discipline and integrity are the pillars on which a soldier is molded. We as children should imbibe all these qualities in our life and strive to be an asset to our nation. Indian Army is the savior of our nation. On this Kargil Vijay Devas, let's all students along with the nation salute the brave soldiers who had laid their lives fighting for us. Heroes will never die. If they do, they will live in the hearts of the people. Jai Hind! To ignite the pride and self-esteem of being an Indian, we are also fortunate to have Havildar Girish J of the Army Engineering Section from Meerut, Uttar Pradesh, sharing his valuable words to inspire the young Indians to join the Indian Armed Forces to serve and protect the nation. Jai Hind! And Havildar Girish, Engineering Section. ഞാൻ <laughs> <laughs> സന്തോഷത്തോടെ പറയാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നെഞ്ചി നിവർത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് പറയണം എനിക്കൊരു പട്ടാളക്കാരനാണ് പത്തിൽ ഒരാണെങ്കിലും പറയുക പ്ലീസ് കാരണം എല്ലാവരും ഡോക്ടറും എഞ്ചിനീയർമാരായി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആര് ആരാവും ആരാവും പട്ടാളക്കാർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു എയർഫോഴ്സിലോ നേവിയിലോ ഉദ്യോഗസ്ഥൻ നിങ്ങളിൽ ഒരാളാവണ്ടേ അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോഴേ നിങ്ങളുടെ മനസ്സിനെ ദൃഢതപ്പെടുത്തുക ഓക്സ്ഫോർഡ് സ്കൂളിലെ എല്ലാ ടീച്ചർമാർക്കും കുട്ടികൾക്കും അവിടുത്തെ കുട്ടികളുടെ മാതാപിതാക്കളുമാർക്കും ഞാൻ ഈ വീഡിയോ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുകയാണ് ദിവസം ഒരു നിമിഷമെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾ മൗനമായിട്ടെങ്കിലും ആചരിക്കണം വീരമൂർത്തി മരിച്ച എല്ലാ പട്ടാളക്കാർക്കും വേണ്ടി അവരുടെ അവർക്കും ഉണ്ടായിരുന്ന കുടുംബവും കാര്യങ്ങളും ഒരു നിമിഷം നിങ്ങൾ മൗനമായി അവരെ ആദരിക്കും ജയ് ഹിന്ദ് India is a land of brave warriors. Our Indian army is full of such heroes and in the year 1999 the world witnessed the bravery of our Indian army when we conquered the Kargil war against Pakistan. It has been 21 years since India won the war against Pakistan at Kargil in Kashmir on 26 July 1999. Since then it has been observed as the Kargil Vijay Divas. Indian armed forces had given their full efforts in such an unbearable climate and heights to get back our land which was dominated by the Pakistani troops. The Kargil battlefield is one of the highest and dangerous battlefields in the world. The war was fought in Tiger Hill region located in the Kargil town 205 kilometers away from Srinagar. The Pakistani army wanted to cut connections between Ladakh and Kashmir and later intended to occupy Kashmir slowly. The Pakistani soldiers initially crossed the line of control which is called LOC and entered into Indian territory. Later the local shepherds alarmed the army about the suspicious people crossing the LOC. After increased attack from the Indian army and pressures from the then United States of America president Bill Clinton, Pakistan called back its troops from the LOC area. Indian army reclaimed all the posts which Pakistan army was trying to win. This two month long war ended on 26 July 1999 when Pakistan army announced that they had withdrawn their army from the disputed area. This operation was named as Operation Vijay. The Indian army with Captain Vikram Batra and Major General Ian Cordoso fought bravely commanding over the outpost on 26 July 1999 which was dominated by Pakistan. On this day Prime Minister of India pays homage to all the martyred soldiers at the Amar Jawan Jyoti. We feel patriotic everywhere. Army stunts and the parade is carried out showing a tribute to the martyrs and the power of the Indian army. Indian army is like a mother who does work selflessly and never asks anything in return. This heroic sacrifices of our army won't be forgotten and will always inspire us.